Seven minutes in heaven. This story is one of the most insane stories that I'm probably gonna ever tell in this channel. But before I do get into the story, I just wanna mention that you guys should really quickly leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do. And did I mention I'm live on Twitch as we speak right now? So I am literally live. Make sure you guys go click the link down in the description below and watch me live streaming to you guys and telling more of these insane stories. Also, not to mention as well, you guys should definitely go watch the Fortnite Girlfriend series on the Bubba channel. Seriously, I'm stuck with my Fortnite girlfriend. She's currently living with me and she's probably with me live as well. So if you guys do want to go check out the Fortnite series, click in the description down below as well and go onto the Bubble channel and check out what's going on there. Other than that, let's get straight into this crazy story. Yo, what is going on you guys? My name is Bubba and welcome back to another insane story. So recently, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. You guys have been crushing with, with these stories and there's one story I haven't told yet because well, it's a pretty basic story and I think we all know the game seven minutes in heaven. If you guys don't know the game, basically you get a chick or a guy or I don't know which way you swing and basically you go into a closet with them for seven minutes and whatever happens in those seven minutes can be anything you guys could kiss you guys could cuddle you guys could talk about your dirtiest secrets or you guys could just do what I do all the time and just straight up do the devil's tango because well yeah what else is there to do in a small closet but this one particular time where seven minutes in heaven did not come by my side was the worst time and I'll tell you guys and it all starts in the very beginning I remember back when I was in high school this was my grade 11 year and I was just a basic kid in grade 11. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, I was known by a lot of girls for doing the devil's tango. But at the same time, I was a basic dude. And I remember basically going to go hang out with my friends and stuff because I do have a couple guy groups I would go hang out with and just, you know, be hanging out with the boys. If you guys don't know, the boys are like a common thing that everyone has. But I remember one of the boys came up to me and it was just a simple guy. It was kind of a cool friend. He walked up to me saying, yo, Bubba, like, bro, like I'm having a party at my place, bro. Like it's gonna be a really good party. Like, can you please like come and hang out as well? I remember I looked at him and I'm like, bro, like, what do you mean it's a party? Like, how many people is it? He ended up saying, dude, there's like gonna be like 15 people so far, but I know if you go, then I can get more chicks going. You know what I'm saying? Basically, what I meant by that was basically if I went to the party, more girls would end up going. Cause, well, if you guys don't know, like I said earlier, I was a lady slayer. A lot of girls knew that I was really good at doing the devil's tango. So, in a way, I mean, you know, I guess they all want a piece of the pie or the eggplant or or the watermelon. I, I don't know. There's a lot of fruits out there, okay? Anyways, I remember telling him, you know what? Yeah, sure, buddy. I'll go. I'm down to go. We can go chill and stuff. And yeah, it's gonna be lit. I'm down. What time do I head out there? He told me, yo, just be there at like seven o'clock. And uh, yeah, just uh, bring whoever you want, man. You got free entry. I said bet. And then yeah, basically he invited me to the damn party. It was pretty chill and it was pretty awesome. Um, You know, me getting invited to it. But I remember as I started walking away and heading to my next class, there was another chick that walks up to me. And this chick was no ordinary chick. This chick was actually funny enough. The party hosts his ex-girlfriend. So remember, the person that just invited me to the party yeah this is his ex-girlfriend walking up to me she walks up to me and she's like oh my goodness like did he literally just invite you to his party and are you actually gonna be ending up going i ended up telling her yeah i'm going like why not he's like he's my bro you know like why not and after that she tells me baba you know he only wants you there because of the girls right and i told him so i generally don't care like i'm gonna be honest i didn't i didn't care like i i had no idea why she was complaining and then she tells me okay well like if you're gonna go then like let me go with you as she comes up closer to me and basically you know putting her arm around my waist i push her off and say yo you need to chill i like i know what you're trying to do like i'm not like that and then she basically ends up looking at me with her wide eyes open saying please just let me go with you like come on like i haven't been to his house in forever and like you know i i do really need a good party ever since we broke up sure that's literally what i said i said sure honestly i don't know why i did you guys can hate me in the comments down below but like i said sure honestly i didn't care so i remember she was all smiling and giggling and she's like oh my goodness like yes you're taking me and then she says okay well like can you pick me up at like seven o'clock with your car i ended up telling her yeah like don't worry about it like i'll pick you up and she got all excited and ended up walking away when she walked away i remember i kind of just like started walking like to my next class again and basically from there i remember my buddy ended up walking up to me again the guy who invited me in the first place saying yo like is it true like you're bringing my ex-girlfriend i ended up telling him like yeah bro like don't worry like you guys broke up like months ago it doesn't matter like i'm not even gonna try anything she just wants to go to the party and then he said oh, okay that's chill but like as long as like you guys don't do anything because like that's not cool you know what i'm saying and i ended up telling him don't worry me and her won't do anything at all I promise. Yeah, basically that's what I told him. I promised him. And reminder, I'm a man of my word. I don't like breaking promises. But at the same time, just remember I said that, okay? Just remember what the title of this video is. Going on though, I remember after, you know, the next day, I remember the party was happening. It was the day of the party. Everyone at school was all excited and stuff. And, you know, we ended up getting more than 50 people going. So it was going to be an actual party party, not like a Getty with like less than 20 people. I remember all hyped up and excited. And I remember the school day ends. We all go home. We all get ready. I end up 
up snapping the chick saying, yo, I'm gonna like pick you up at this time, like be ready. She gets all hyped up. She's like, oh my God, like I'll be ready. And like, you know, she's all excited and stuff. Me, I generally didn't care. I kind of just wore tight jeans and uh, I think a flannel. I wore a flannel. I definitely wore a flannel knowing me back in high school. And basically from there, I ended up going to my car in my blue Toyota Silica, driving to her house, picking her up. And she was wearing a really tight outfit. Like, holy cow. Like you can see Mount Columbus and basically Mount Everest down there. Like she was wearing a tight outfit. And from there, I remember we ended up going to my buddy's place and we were all there. There was like 50 people. We were all drinking, hanging out, basically all having a good time. Now, this is where the funniest part happens, I think. And this is where things get really weird. I remember during the party, things were like kind of like getting slow and stuff. And then I remember my buddy walked up to me. He's like, dude, like we should do something. What should we do? And in some nitwit at the party, and this guy was like absolutely like a dummy. Like he looked dumb. Okay. Like he was definitely like in some way weird. Comes up to us and he's like, dude, like we could play like a game together. Like let's play like seven minutes in heaven. What? You want to play seven minutes in heaven? What are we, 12? Is what I told him. But then he's like, nah, like trust me, it'll be fun. It'll make us like get more closer with the girls. That was the most creepiest thing I think anyone's ever said. But I said, sure, whatever. I remember the host of the party ends up standing on top of his table, his like little coffee table that he stood on where there was like a bunch of beer cans already. By the way, don't underage drink, not a good idea. And he says, yo, everyone come together. We're gonna do seven minutes in heaven. Yeah, everyone looked at each other and they're like, seriously? And some of the girls actually got excited, funny enough. So we all ended up getting in a circle and we basically all started talking and playing. We ended up spinning the bottle. We ended up doing all that weird stuff. And basically we spun the bottle and we spun the bottle to another person. Basically they would get up, they would go to the closet. They would be there for like seven minutes. Minutes. God knows who knows what, what they were doing. Like it got to a point where a girl had to readjust her bra. So you already know something was going on and basically it ended up going again and again into a cycle. I remember as I was sitting down there, I was sitting beside my buddy and basically I spun the bottle because it was my turn. And when I spun it, I remember it landed on a chick, but it wasn't any chick. And reminder, I promised my friend that I would never do anything with his ex-girlfriend, but the bottle landed on his ex-girlfriend. So I had no idea what to do at this moment. I remember I looked at him and he ended up staring me down with like dead beating eyes saying, better not do anything, bro. That's my ex, bro. And I looked at him like, dude, I'm not gonna do anything. I won't do anything. I won't even lay a hand on her. Reminder, I said I wouldn't lay a hand. So I remember me and her, we stood up. We went inside this guy's closet. I'm not gonna lie, the closet smelled like absolute garbage and it smelled like devil's tango. So we're just sitting in there. We're not sitting, we're standing up close to each other. And she's like telling me like, as we're close up to each other, she's like, so like, what do you want to do? I ended up looking at her and I'm like, oh, well, you're kind of my friend's ex. So like, I don't know if there's any good idea to actually do. She ends up getting closer and she's like, I can think an idea to do. And uh, yeah, she ended up grabbing my eggplant and one thing led to another. We ended up doing the devil's tango. But reminder, I won't lie to you guys. I kept my word. I put my hands behind my back and I didn't do anything. She did everything. I didn't do anything. And on top of that, not to mention, I mentioned I wouldn't lay a hand, not an eggplant. So yeah, that happened. And then uh, yeah, uh, the closet door opened. Uh, I ended up going out and she ended up putting on her pants again. And when she was readjusting her pants, let's just say my buddy knew that something went down and he kept asking me throughout the entire night what happened what happened what happened and i said the same thing i said to him before i even got into that closet dude i promise you i didn't lay a hand on her yeah uh that's basically it honestly there's always loopholes to what you could say which goes to your word but at the same time it's better to be safe than sorry other than that seven minutes in heaven still an iconic game still play it to this day uh, i play it with my fortnite girlfriend a lot but yeah other than that that's basically it all right guys that's basically it for today's story make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already and on top of that did i mention to go subscribe to all the new channels are out bubba channel Go subscribe, Bubba Gaming. Go subscribe. Crazy gaming content going on there soon. And I'm live on Twitch, so go click the link down in the description below. And like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. All right, peace out, guys.